For modern airlines, the end goal is to get passengers to their destination as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But the way they do that is changing all the time. EasyJet might be a budget airline, but that doesn't mean it's not trying to innovate. We're here today at its annual innovation day to see exactly what it's been working on. In this secret hangar at London Gatwick Airport, we've seen a variety of different technologies and green initiatives. EasyJet recently took delivery of two A320 NEO aircrafts, which cut CO2 emissions by 15% and noise emissions by 50%. As we've seen in previous years, EasyJet is employing the use of drones to check the fuselage after each flight. In the past, they required a human operator, but now they are able to survey the aircraft on their own using an automated flight pattern. They're also employing 3D scanners which can check for dents and small imperfections in the fuselage, meaning they can turn around the flight times a lot quicker. And for the first time, EasyJet is introducing in-flight entertainment via its Airtime app. So we're going to be launching a brand new product called Airtime, which is our in-flight entertainment product on board our aircraft. So we'll have a content server on board, which will then have TV shows, magazines, movies, games and so forth. It's brand new and it's going to be completely free for our passengers. But perhaps the most notable announcement is the company's tie-up with Wright Electric to develop an all-electric plane. We're designing this airplane for EasyJet for their very short flights, for example, London to Paris. And the goal is to make it as efficient as possible and as low emissions as possible to have an overall reduction in cost for them of about 20%. We're starting with small airplanes and scaling up to larger and larger ones over the next decade.